Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of paying for college. This is standard 6.14G in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 22 off the redesign practice online star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So Ricardo was planning to pay for college using his uh, savings along with scholarships, grants, and work study. Which source of funding does Ricardo have the greatest amount of personal control over? Well, that's a good question. Let's open up our graph draw feature. And let's look at these four options. And really, we're looking at what do they do and we're looking for the greatest amount of personal control so what does he get to decide in these all right so let's see what these are savings well he being ricardo right uh, he gets to save money and it's most likely coming from his uh, work in a bank where he's going to keep his savings account. Uh, if he's working, then he's going to have a pretty decent amount of control over it. Um, and if he's not, then he's going to have a little bit less control because he's going to be dependent upon other people giving him money, like for birthday, for Christmas, right? Grandma, grandpa, aunt, and uncle. So this is a decent amount of control because he gets to decide if he is working, let's assume he's working, how much money he's going to spend on Uber Eats and how much money he's going to spend uh, on clothes and then how much he's going to put away in the bank. So scholarships. Scholarships, this is from the college. So the college awards the, these scholarships. He's got some control because he has to qualify. So he must qualify and so the qualifications uh, sometimes are within his control such as he needs to get certain grades. Uh, it could be an athletic scholarship, could be a musical scholarship, so he has to try out and he, he has to be selected. But really, it's the college that awards most of this. And so even though he, he gets a little bit of say in whether or not he applies for it, qualifies for it, the decision really lands with the college. So I'm going to say no on the scholarships because he's got more control right now over savings. Now the grant... Uh, this is from the government. Most likely, it's going to be a Pell Grant, which means it's going to be the federal the federal government, but sometimes you might get some state grants. So your government awards this, and once again, he must qualify. So uh, like the Pell Grant, a lot of it is based on your parents' income, and you have to maintain a certain number of hours uh, that you attend each semester, you can't just get a Pell Grant for going to one class. You have to be considered a full-time student, most likely. So once again, this is not really something that he controls because it's the government that awards it. Yes, he must qualify, but you see how the scholarships and the grants, somebody else is the one that decides whether or not he gets the money. So probably not so much on that one. Let's check out our work study programs. Okay. So work study program is something you have to apply for and usually that's with the college. Okay. So the college, uh, I won't say award because it's not like it's free money, uh, but the college grants it once you, uh, you know, and then he must work and, you know, maintain everything that he has to maintain, his grades, his attendance, um, all of these things. But once again, he has to apply for it and then look who's making that decision. Does he get into a work study program? The college decides it. So college decides, college decides, government decides, you know what? I'm liking this savings right here because he gets to save, which means he, Ricardo, gets to choose how much money he spends on other things, how much money he saves. So our answer here is A.